Hi everyone, today I am going to show you how I make a moss pole for my plants in semi hydroponics. So, this can be applied for plants that are in soil as well. I have made one moss pole, and that's for my Monstera Deliciosa. I was trying to think of ways to make a moss pole for it for a while, and I did think of a PVC pipe, but I thought it wouldn't be able to stand up on its own without another contraption holding it down because it's just like a around it. If you have a moss pole in soil, it's a lot easier to be held up because the soil just holds it in place. My friend Kay, who also does salmon hydroponics, she showed me that she was making moss poles for her plants. It's able to stay up on its own. Just sticking the PVC pipe in there and having the LECA surrounding it, it was able to stay in place. So going off of that, I decided to wing it and I worked with spag moss and made a moss pole of my own. Today I'm going to be making one for my silver sore philodendrons. I'm just going to tell you all the materials that you need. So what you need for this is some sphagnum moss. You, I got this on Amazon. The links are in the description below, but you can also get sphagnum moss from big box stores. I heard that you're supposed to use a glove and mask when you work with sphagnum moss, but I never have, so yeah. Then I used a fishing line. This is a light green color, but ideally clear or white. You can also use jute rope, any other type of string really. So the last thing you'll need is a PVC pipe. I got this from Home Depot. I had them cut a PVC pipe for me, and I think this is like a one and a half diameter. I'm not sure. They have some that are pre-cut that you could buy, but those were all too short for me. This is the size that I used for my Monstera Deliciosa. So just measure your plant and figure out what size pole you want. So this is obviously just taller than the plant that I used it for. What I'm going to do first is take out the spag moss. I'm not sure how much I need because this stuff expands like crazy. I'm just going to use a little at a time. I'm just breaking it up. Then I'm just going to put some water and let it expand. The whole concept of this is essentially wrapping some sort of stick moss and then holding it down with some rope or fishing line. Stuff like this is pretty easy to experiment with. You don't have to use the exact materials that I'm using. So you can see how much it expanded. I'm just going to go with this for now. If I need more, then I could always just get more. So this is the one that I'm using for my plant and it just depends on your own plant or however big your plant is to figure out how tall you need. Need it. So see how much moss I really need to put on this. I'm just going to hold it next to it like this. It hits right below the M. I'm going to fill up the moss from the M up. So then this white part will just be in the bottom because that does not need to be in spag moss. So I just got a bunch of string. You start picking up the moss, squeezing it a bit out, and you literally just start wrapping. So I'm just going to hold it against the top. I do a little bit at a time, like this. I just have that much wrapped up. I'm just using my hand to squeeze it, make sure some of the excess water comes out. Take the string and you start wrapping. And when I wrap it around, I'm not doing it in any particular way. Any way to get the moss on there, that's what I'm doing. And I'm pulling pretty tightly. So I hope you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I do a little bit at a time like this. And then what I like to do to make it a little bit more secure, I went down and then now I'm kind of coming back up. And then now I'm coming back down again. So this is what it currently looks like. I've only done this amount. I'm going to keep going down in sections and doing the same exact thing. And do the next little part. The string is here and I'm just going to keep going. And use my other hand to squeeze the moss. So the string is down here right now and I'm just going to bring it back up. Make sure it's secure. I would definitely recommend to use a string that you won't really see because I'm not being precise at all with how I'm wrapping it. If you use a different type of string where you can see it better, your wrapping probably has to be more precise and neat. Otherwise the pole won't look that good. Not that I really think moss poles look good anyways, but it makes the plant happy, so. I'm at a point where I ran out of string. My other string, because I just cut some more, tie a knot. I know I'm not in frame right now, but this is hard for me to film. So I'm literally just tying a knot with the other end of the string so it doesn't come out. I did a double knot. Go back around, wrap things up, make sure it's secure here. So you can't really see. Yeah, you can kind of see the string, but... 
it's not enough for me to actually care. We're getting close. We're more than halfway there. Yeah, almost done. And then I will show you the finished product and then show you how I pot it up. So I have the moss on there already now. And I did another tie right here and I made it pretty long this time. So what I'm gonna do is just to make sure that I have it securely on here, I am going to wrap it all the way back up. And then when I see something sticking out like that, then I make sure that I go exactly in that area. Another piece sticking out and I go right over that. And now I'm just gonna tie it around the entire thing. I'm at the last section. So I just found another piece that I already wrapped it around and I made a knot around it. So then I can just cut off this piece and next I'm gonna pot up the plant. If you see my video on how to pot up a plant in some hydroponics, it's basically the same concept, except instead of starting with the luck at the bottom, you take your moss pole, you stick it right in the middle of the nursery pot like that. You hold it in the middle while you start putting the first layer of LECA in the bottom. There's a small layer of LECA in the bottom and I'm gonna lean this against something while I get the plant together. Now I have my plant. I am gonna put it around the moss pole. I have to hold the moss pole in place while I'm trying to arrange the rest of the plant around it. I think that's good. I think so. Just make sure for that for the roots are down. So then you can start putting more LECA on top. As I put in more LECA, this should get easier because then I can let go. I hope you can actually see what I'm doing, but I'm just putting more LECA surrounding it and it's already getting more stable. As you can see, I can let go and it's staying in place already. Okay, now I'm at a point where I can give it a little shake and it's not gonna go flying. And the reason why you wanna shake it is to make sure that the LECA is falling into place. You can use anything to really secure it around here. I've done rubber bands before. Just don't use something that's gonna be tight and that will hurt your plant. But this that I'm using, I got this from Daiso. It's gardening tape, so it's very, it's as gentle on plants there. And I like this, it's pretty easy. You, I'm just gonna take a piece, I'm just gonna make sure that the main stems are pretty much touching the pole. Some of them can be free. So with this one, you basically just cut it and then you press the two pieces together and it stays in place. You just pinch the two pieces together and it stays. I mean, it's not the prettiest piece, but there you have it. That's how you make a moss pole. So this is the pot that I'm gonna be putting it in. So it has a drainage hole. I just need to do one of my little tricks to get around the drainage hole. That's the finished product. It looks so cute. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.